Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to have Windows automatically start a program at a specific date and time for you. So that way if you need to be reminded to do something or have something run or maybe set something to open for another user so they don't forget to uh, open it. So let's say maybe open Word so they could remember to fill out their timesheet. Uh, you could set this up on a schedule. So to do so, we're going to use the good old fashioned task scheduler to do that. So you could just do a search for it. Click on task scheduler. Okay, so over on the right here, we're going to click create task. We could call it whatever we like. So I'm going to open the program called Specky. So let's say we're having a computer overheating problem. And I, so I want it to open just so I could check the temperature so I don't forget to do so. And then you can put a description if you like. Okay, so we're going to run only when the user is logged on because it's not going to matter if the user is logged off because they're not going to see it open. Okay, so for triggers, we're going to do a new trigger. Do it on a schedule. So let's say daily, every day at, let's say it's 746 right now. So let's change it to 750. And make sure you enable it. And then you can check some of these settings if you want it to repeat, for example, or if you want the task to expire. So we'll click OK. All right, so now for actions. So we're going to choose the default, which is start a program. And so here you want to put the executable to the program itself, which I have open here. So I could copy this. I just got to make sure to put the specy exe. So if you don't know the path to a program, another way you could do so. Let me get to the desktop here. You could right click on a shortcut, go to properties and find the target there. Okay, so I'm going to paste this in here. Browse so I could find the executable because you have to have the executable too. You can't just have the folder path. Okay, so we're going to start a program and this is the program with the executable, the full path. So we'll click OK. All right, so we have the general here, open specy with the user logged in. The triggers daily at 750 every day. The action start a program this path to this executable. We're going to skip conditions, go to settings. And the only thing you might want to change here is depending on the program, let's say you're opening a uh, Chrome or edge and it's already open. Uh, you could have it not start a new instance. You could have it start a new instance of that program. You know, something like specy, it's just going to run the one program. So if you click it again, I don't think it's going to open another version of it. Uh, queue a new instance. So that way, if they close the program, then that one will open when it's closed or you could have it kill the existing instance of that program and start the new one. All right, so we'll click OK. All right, so now if we go to our tasks here at the library, so now we have open specy 750 every day. OK, so we'll just uh, pause the video and see what happens at 750. Actually, it's 750 and 22 seconds, so we'll have to wait that extra 22 seconds after 750. Okay, so I purposely chose this program to show you that sometimes, depending on the program, uh, you might need to have administrator access to open this, like for Specky. So it's opening the user account control to start it. So this might pop up in front of their face there on the screen, and then they'd have to click yes, where something like Chrome is just going to open the program. So keep that in mind, depending on what program you're trying to assign to open. So we'll click yes. And now we have it open. So you can see it's a pretty simple process to uh, schedule a program to open. Just once again, go to Create Task, give it a name, description, change anything, anything here, which you probably don't want to. Uh, your trigger, add a new trigger on a schedule. Pick your status here for the settings. Once, daily, weekly, monthly, change the date and time. Make sure it's enabled, that's key. Then you can change these if you need to. Actions. Start a program, browse to the executable, and then settings. If you need to change any of these, you can do it from here. And then you'll have it listed in your task schedule library right here. And then, of course, you could come back here and uh, end it, disable it, delete it, and that type of thing if you're done. All right, hopefully that makes sense. So as you can see, pretty simple process. So give it a shot and see how it works for you. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank mm -hmm. you.